In 1938, insurance salesman Walter Neff returns to his office in downtown Los Angeles with a gunshot wound on his shoulder. He records a confession on a dictaphone for his friend and colleague, claims adjuster Barton Keys. A flashback ensues. Walter meets the alluring Phyllis Dietrich's son during a house call to remind her husband to renew his automobile insurance policy. They flirt until Phyllis asks about buying an accident insurance policy for her husband without his knowledge. Walter deduces Phyllis is contemplating murder and wanting no part of it, he picks up his hat and quickly leaves. Later, Phyllis shows up at Walter's apartment and uses the excuse of the latter for getting his hat to seduce him to murder her husband. The plan is to trick Dietrich's son into signing what he thinks is a renewal. The policy has a double indemnity clause that pays double for an accidental death due to rare circumstances. Later, Phyllis drives her husband to the train station to attend his college reunion. Walter hides in the back seat, kills him and boards the train posing as Mr. Dietrich's son. After the train gets underway, Walter goes to the outdoor platform at the back, ostensibly to smoke. He jumps off at a prearranged spot to meet Phyllis and drag Dietrichson's body onto the tracks. Norton, the company's president, believes the death was suicide, but Keyes dismisses this theory. Soon, however, he begins to have doubts about the claim's legitimacy. Keyes tells Walter his theory while Phyllis hides behind the door that she had an accomplice murder Dietrich's son for the insurance money. However, he has no proof. The victim's daughter, Lola, tells Walter she is convinced that her stepmother Phyllis is behind her father's death. Lola's mother also died under suspicious circumstances, and Phyllis was her nurse. Realizing Phyllis has killed before, Walter begins seeing Lola to keep her from going to the police with her suspicions, and later through guilt and to protect her from her stepmother. Walter fears Phyllis will murder Lola over her suspicions and because Dietrich's son had changed his will in Lola's favor, leaving Phyllis nothing. Keyes finds a witness who says the man on the train was younger than the dead man. Walter warns Phyllis that pursuing the insurance claim in court risks exposing the murder. He tries to convince her to lie low and let him try to convince Norton to pay out the claim. Lola tells Walter she has discovered that her boyfriend, the hot-headed Nino Zachet, has been seeing Phyllis behind her back. Walter confronts Phyllis and tells her that he knows about her and Zachet. He guesses she is planning for Zachet to kill Lola and him, but tells her that he intends to kill her and frame Zachet. Phyllis shoots Walter in the shoulder, but finds herself unable to finish him off, realizing that she cares for someone else for the first time in her life. Walter does not believe Phyllis and kills her. He waits for Zachet and advises him not to enter the house. He convinces him to call Lola. Walter drives to the office and turns on the dictaphone, returning to the start of the film. Keyes arrives unnoticed and hears the truth. Walter tells him he is fleeing to Mexico, but collapses. Keyes lights a cigarette for Walter, while waiting for the police and an ambulance.